is Larry Gator Rivers from Savannah, Georgia. I'm the greatest ball handler in the world. If you don't believe me, just ask me. When I was, was coming up as a kid, the, 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 the whole educational system fascinated me to be able to go to school and, and gain knowledge because that was something that in the past we were, we were, we were not allowed to do. We weren't allowed to, to learn. And, and to be able to freely learn was, was a great, great privilege to, to me as a kid coming up and to all the kids that I knew because we knew education was, was the way out. And, and the thing that I used was basketball. And what made me know that I could succeed and be special was that basketball team of 1966-67 because they went as far as you can go. I mean, we, we, we went as far as you can go and we were number one. We came back to Savannah the night after winning that state championship, and we saw over five, 6,000 people line the streets, all in the middle of, of Liberty over there where the, 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 the welcome center. I mean, they were, Liberty and West Broad was nothing but people at that, at that train station. And I was amazed, there were white and black that, that greeted that, us as a team. And that's when I realized something special. Now we're going to present that trophy back to the school in honor and a salute to the team and the class of 1966-67. I met Gator um, because he was one of the people who we were supposed to interview and introduce to the community. Uh, actually Gator was the first pillar that we met as a class. And he's really interesting because he's a retired basketball player, but he keeps he teaches now bas kids basketball, and he came up with this idea to teach them basketball, but at the same time teach them how to draw their foot. He thought that teamwork was essential for basketball, teamwork was essential for gardening, and he believed that teamwork is something that com the community can really learn from and benefit from. Well, all right, so I've been here 14 years, and uh, I've done a lot of work with classes outside of this, the buildings, uh, working with uh, the community, in one project or another, small projects, but meaningful projects. There's a, there's a really high rate of poverty in Savannah. Uh, it's a beautiful town. Everybody knows the downtown area. Um, that's you know the world knows about downtown Savannah, uh, but there's this large U shape uh, of, um, of a different Savannah. And, uh, and the question uh, for for me was uh, how can you start uh, having a more sincere uh, interaction between the downtown area, the students, and uh, that outer. I think the big question has always been continuity. How do you make sure that there's continuity of interaction between the university and between the community? And we call it We Are Waters campaign. It's the goal is introducing uh, people from the community to the community. I've been working with Harambe House for, for a long time, five, six, maybe seven years, on different projects. So we're doing the work education uh, job training program at uh, the Harambe House. So they they have a class going on now, and we get them work ready. We teach them things like uh, asbestos abatement, uh, removal of lead, and uh, mold, mold, handling mold. So when they come out of this, they have some certification. They can you know go on and get decent jobs.
um, garden. So we'll have uh, produce growing around here. We'll have uh, plantless uh, seedlings growing in the greenhouse. We have a special needs group of kids from Savannah High, the old school, mm -hmm. that comes over here with Willie Marble. And they do a lot of the, you know, some, some of the work around here, but their main thing is to learn how to farm, garden, plant. So the house over there, we're converting that in, that little house right there, that's going to be like a classroom to teach them about farming and stuff. And then after they, they farm and everything, what they're working on right over there now, that building, is going to be a kitchen where they can learn how to prepare the food that they, that they farm. So, uh, so Gator uh, has, um, is just, he's, he's, uh, it, there's no other way to say it, he's an amazing person. This project is a vital project. And that I mean, you know, when, when this city and cities like it was faced with segregation, we came together as a community to show that we were worthy people. It's just a matter of, 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 of you getting out and, and, and making a difference. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to rally them together, uh, just like we did back in the 60s for doing the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, and make them understand how valuable this city is. This is a beautiful city. Savannah, you know, we have a, vi a vibrant community here in spite of all the things that happen throughout the country. So our young people need to understand that. How do you get them to understand that? You have to get them to understand where they came from. If you understand your history, then you can really get a grasp on your future because, you know, you got to start somewhere. What we want to do is bring back that same vibrant attitude, that same energy, but with a diverse group of people now. You know, same, same emphasis, the same desire to, to do good and, and, and offer a service. My passion uh, through basketball is to show how people can work together for common culture.